What's up, three pound fishing nation? Glad to have you back. It's been a while since I've been on the, on the water. Let me show you what I've been up to. We're about to embark on an incredible experience with the Crappie Masters Elite Series, the number one trail uh, out there. Gonna be fantastic anglers, and I can't tell you enough, uh, I'm excited, nervous. Got all the equipment, the boat's rocking and rolling. We got those crappie brakes, man, excited about that. Got a full line of new uh, prototype rods in the boat. You'll see those, I guess, during the entire trip. I'm excited for that stuff, can't wait to share it. But first and foremost, I wanna say, uh, start off with the original fish formula. They are our key sponsor for the Crappie Masters Elite Series. You guys gotta check it out. Let me, let me show you something. Every time you go on a boat trip with three pound fishing guide service, no joke. We got the crappie formulation, we got the paste, we got the uh, game fish, we got the bait pop, we've got it all. So check out, do me a favor, the original fish formula, bait pop. You can go to either one, baitpop.com or the original fish formula, because they are really being a big part of three pound fishing, uh, especially for this crappie masters elite series. I can't wait to share those experiences with you through this entire process, because every time we're out there, we're gonna share and do a video on the experience on these lakes. And again, I told, I said this once before, these lakes are new, and so you're gonna be learning a lot about them. So we're gonna get out there and fish. It's a nasty day, just nasty day. Why haven't I been on the water? Well, I've been on the water with the guide trips. The guide trips have been crushing it. Unbelievable, this is the time of year. I always tell people that. Um, sometimes they don't wanna deal with the cold, but if you can deal with the cold, this is when those fish are eating. I'm just telling you, it's a great time of year in Southern Illinois, for sure. But, uh, you know, we got the shows, we got all that stuff, and you know, just prepping for this year in general has taken a lot more time, and because we continue to add products to 3poundfishing.com, it's growing. It's having fun. So, today we're gonna be casting at them, sniping braid. I got one of my prototype rods out right now that we're using, and, um, can't wait to share all that with you the whole maybe not the whole process but when they come out we are so far ahead of schedule that we're kind of we're kind of seeing maybe in the june july area you're gonna see some awesome stuff come out of three pound fishing we're excited so uh let's get out there it's a uh, enough of this jibber jabber here we go all right guys as we start go to get out here it is going to be windy so i've got a nice little wind thing here so i can continue to talk i think you guys will still be able to hear me so that'll be nice but i wanted to touch on a couple things that i've, I've been hearing when i'm at a guide trip and um, when i when i have guests on the boat I, I hear a lot of complaints about guides that are perhaps not being as professional as they should be so i want to tell you that it's really an easy process that you really should ask a little bit about the equipment that you're going to get into the boat in other words um, also, you can really get a vibe on somebody just by uh, when you're talking to them. So what I want to assure people is that when they're with three pound fishing, and I've been kind of trying to promote this a lot, is you're on a A plus guide trip. You've got top of the line equipment. Everything's going to be in working order. It's going to be a clean boat. There's no smoking. It is focused on the fishing. I don't spend an ounce of time. Oh, let me get that on the phone when I have a guide trip going. So if you've got that guide experience where your guide is on the phone the entire time, um, you really, obviously it's a learning process, but ask some questions when you're booking. That's probably the number one thing you can do. Hey, when we're fishing, are you on your phone? I know that they're gonna probably wanna give you the, the answer that you wanna hear, but at the end of the day, you can usually get a pretty good vibe as to your experience and how that's gonna go. So if you're interested in three pound fishing i can tell you it's an a plus experience look at that school so here i am dropping in i don't know if you guys can see it right here but there it is and um, i've opted to really go with a small jig hair jig actually there's a nice look at a school um, we might try to see if we can speed it up just so that we can see it better but that's what we're fishing right now is monster schools and then sometimes they'll actually come up on the shoreline so there i am dropping in right here and i'm in it right now and sometimes i'll just 
keep it around them and they kind of get tired of it so right now i'm in the i'm not in the middle of it but i'm right on top of it and if i want it to drop real quick i'll accelerate towards it and it will just start to plummet which it should be oh baby you guys see that shoot on the screen <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> and that's our first fish of the day that's a solid eater working with a hair jig no split shot check that out guys that's a solid fish man good stuff letting them go though all right so one of the strategies i mean a great you know is playing the wind and, and we are playing the wind right now it's coming into this point and um what I can tell you, it's a pain in the butt when you need to throw a light jig into the wind. We've got about a eight mile an hour wind today. There it is coming down. And uh, being able to whip it in that wind is tough. And we're hoping this guy will accommodate. Nope, um, it is tough. So I try to throw the, the, the bait on a really low trajectory. I'm talking to whip it low like a line drive to try to keep it out of the wind. You cannot afford to bring it up into the wind when you're throwing a 132nd ounce jig. Now, what you can do is try to, you know, a really micro braid. Of course, I use sniping braid, everybody knows that. Um, and that allows me to, to whip that jig out there. It's extremely powerful in these situations. But um, look at those fish. Gosh dang, that's beautiful. I am trying to do a really slow presentation with a really small jig throwing it into an eight mile an hour wind which is not easy but after a guide trip you pick up on it there it is coming in right there that's beautiful one of the things that i always go to new lakes with are floats and i know that cross lake which is our first event is going to have a lot of cypress trees and i know that we're going to be kind of at the beginning of their spawning season but probably not the spawn exactly but we might have to cast floats up against those cypress trees. So I always bring slit floats. So the, what I like about a slit float, and that's the slit there on them, is that they allows you to take it on and off extremely easy. Now, I also have what they call uh, slit floats. Um, and these are the ones I choose to use. They're all called Calmel Com is the brand. And I always buy them in bulk and always have them on the boat. And it's just, it's nice to have when you think that the possibilities are just about endless when you go to a new lake. So really important to have just about everything you could possibly want. Floats, although we don't fish with them much here, are critical if you want to get up against those cypress bases. So there you go. Oh, baby. Oh, man, it doesn't get any better than that. Those guys are deep. Well, guys, that's going to end it. What a great day. Great morning. But I'm, i got to be honest with you. I'm a little cold. And uh, your next episodes are most likely going to be from Cross Lake, the pre-fish. I'm very excited about that. I uh, thank all the sponsors, Cornfield Crappie Gear, PTG, obviously the original fish formula. Those guys are all awesome. Hog fishing, stiping braid, three pound fishing tackle. Um, check it out at threepoundfishing.com. Check out the guide service. We talked a lot about that today. And um, I look forward to 2023. This is going to be a really exciting year. A lot of things are going to go down. So um, appreciate you. Thanks again, guys.